There's something wrong with this gaming setup. Can you guess? Yep, it's this dual stack. But luckily this box has the solution for that. So what we have here is the MSI MAG 321 UPX QD OLED gaming monitor. It's kind of a mouthful, but this is a 32 inch Ultra HD gaming monitor with a 240 hertz refresh rate and 0.03 millisecond response time, which now makes this the fastest monitor that I own. And coming in at around $900, this is considered to be one of the cheapest monitors they could get that's this size and packed with this kind of tech. Unboxing the monitor is like your typical unboxing experience. Get the base plate and the stand, the monitor itself, your power cable, an HDMI cable, and some standoffs if you're wanting to wall mount it. Pretty much everything you need, nothing more, nothing less. The stand offers your traditional adjustments like height, tilt, swivel, and pivot. The bottom of the monitor is where you'll find all of your inputs, two HDMI 2.1 ports, one display port, and one USB Type-C port. The back of the monitor is actually where you'll find the custom heatsink that eliminates the need for active fan cooling, as well as the little joystick in the back to access the monitor settings, but we'll talk about this in a bit. Now, right out of the box, the first thing I noticed was just how thin the panel is, and that's because it's a QD OLED panel. But what exactly does that mean? So QD OLED screens are visually much better than traditional W OLED screens because they allow you to have a much wider and more accurate color gamut along with having perfect black levels. You'll also find yourself having a better reading experience since the text clarity is much better than W OLED. All this is thanks to QD. So QD or quantum dots basically make color filters unnecessary since the screen is capable of producing colors directly. This gives you more pure and vibrant colors and colors that are closer to what the human eye can perceive, which results in a much more realistic and immersive viewing experience compared to a W OLED screen. Now, of course you could change all sorts of settings within the monitor from different color profiles to some of these smart gaming features and probably one of the most important features msi oled care 2.0 when it comes to the topic of oled a lot of people usually bring up burn-in which is fair but this monitor comes with a bunch of settings to help significantly reduce the risk of oled burn-in this features things like boundary detection or taskbar detection which will detect the border of black bars or your taskbar automatically and reduce the luminance now there are more options like pixel shift panel protect and static screen detection but if you find yourself running into any more issues there's always a three-year warranty that covers burn-in all right let's get into some real world use and throw this in Time was amazing. My previous monitor was 144 hertz, so the jump to 240 was definitely noticeable and much more smoother and more satisfying. With QD OLED monitors, you also get less input lag at high resolutions, helping deliver that smooth, crisp gaming experience. Of course, the first game I had to test out was Minecraft with shaders because beautiful graphics deserve to be played on a beautiful display. And I gotta say, the colors are absolutely stunning. They felt much more vibrant and rich, but not oversaturated. And the semi-glossy coating helps with glare against any type of room lighting, even if you have a window with the sound beaming through it. This is definitely one of those monitors I could see myself gaming on for hours. High refresh rate, 4K resolution, QD OLED tech, and a three-year warranty. I'm honestly not sure what more you could ask for. Thank you again to MSI for sponsoring this video. If you want to check this monitor out, check out the link in my bio. I'm gonna go play some Minecraft with shaders.